Hi, Xenon. Hi. It's hi. so nice hi, to hi, finally Whitney. meet you. Thank you so much for yeah. coming. Please come on in here. Wow, Carol. this is absolutely stunning. I cannot get over this detail. So I have to ask the design. Now, did you come up with a design? Yes, or? that's my design. And I presented a few drawings. Uh, by the way, we make the sketches by hand. Everything is wow. handmade. Okay. Carving sketches. So I present the sketches to the client for his approval. Uh, my sketches are on the base of all traditional books. I got a few books of Victorian mm -hmm. houses, so basically I put together everything specifically for this house. So like those type of fluted columns, um, you know, plinth lock and the, and the, and the carved uh, um, capitals. The only, uh, only uh, one carving thing uh, which we bought from Inkable's design, those are the long mildings we usually okay. Long mildings we use from Inkable's design, but the smaller pieces are uh, always handmade. And who, uh, what about the glass? Who designed the glass? Um, the design, the glass is collaboration of owner and Ian. Um, Ian, it's the interior designer. This is Rossi Lee and San. They okay. have an office in, uh, in La Jolla. And my friend uh, Dave from Higher Glass, they're located in Santi. They, they, uh, Dave and his crew put together the glass for me. It's beautiful. It all ties in very nicely. And yeah. I can't help but notice these um, panels, these pieces of wood down here. I mean, the grains in this is, it doesn't even look real. What kind yeah. of wood is that? Yeah. It's, uh, it's, um, with ladies, I usually use the name high uh, figure mahogany, but because uh, this is our educational channel and m many woodworkers will, will watch the channel, so I will use the official name too. It's actually called crotch mahogany. Like crotch? Like, how do you spell that? Yeah, it's uh, C-R-O-T-C-H. Okay. Crotch I know mahogany. it sounds a little bit weird, but <laughs> no, that's, like that's really, that's like really the name. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't get over how stunning this looks and how it just really ties in the whole yeah. room. Nature can be amazing. And this is actually a veneer. We put this on a panel, make the wooden edges and put this on the plywood. The reason is it's very expensive material and most of the time it's used as a veneer because it's so grainy as a, as a solid wood, it uh -huh. will be cracking too much. So okay. it's very difficult material, but it's, it's extremely beautiful. And it's used in many, um, many high-end hotels. Uh, you, you can find this material in the, even in the White House oh, wow. uh, door in the White House. There, there they use a, uh, this type of mahogany. Yeah, it looks like figure. a very rich, rich yeah, wood. Yeah. And then um, I noticed these uh, panels as well. But they don't have anything on them. What will go there? The, uh, we we cannot finish this project until general contractor will finish uh, plumbing upstairs mm -hmm. and remodel uh, bathroom uh, upstairs. Okay. Test the plumbing and then company uh, will put the wallpaper, wallpaper in. The wallpaper will be chose by Ian and, and, and Axel, owner okay. of the house. Uh -huh. And uh, we have already trimmed for it, but we cannot do it until the, the upstairs bathroom is finished. Okay, wow, I can't wait to see this when it's fully finished. It's, I'm very, very impressed with your work. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Let's go to the column now. Uh, so tell me about this column. Now, are these leather straps or is that wood? Um, yeah, actually, uh, originally it, it will be leather straps because this type of column, it's a very popular ornament. Uh, you can find this even in Senate. Uh, it's, it mimics uh, the, the uh, bunch of uh, uh, bamboo or, mm -hmm. or wooden sticks with leather wraps, but we use the uh, double uh, veneer and we stain in it to mimic like it's, uh, like it's leather. Wow, yeah. It's I will show you incredible. later if you will have a time, uh, maybe next week, uh, uh, I will show you in the shop the details, how we actually, uh, mm, how we create this type of columns. Yeah, I you would know, love that. All the head rounds, uh, uh, capitals, and, and, uh, and the cornice at the top, uh -huh. the base at the, at the bottom. Yeah, I can't, I just can't. Yeah, most, the most of the time, even in the US Senate, you will find this ornament was flat as, uh -huh. as a pilaster. Okay. And it was quite challenging when uh, our client, when I presented drawing, our client, oh, this is gonna be beautiful half round column. And I kind of, oh my goodness, now I have to make a half round, <laughs> which I never done. This is the first time I've done a half round. Usually oh. it's, a, it's just flat. It's it just came a out. flat piece, it's called pilaster. Right. And this is, if it's, uh, if it's rounded like this, it, uh -huh. it's a column. So when you look at what we've, what we've uh, been looking before, yeah. that's the pilaster and this okay. is the column. Wow, beautiful. Half round column, okay. thank you.
Uh, let's enter the, the another yeah, room, please. Yeah. Okay, please, this way. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm gonna show you this room. This is incredible. Wow. I mean, I just cannot get over the attention to detail. Yes. And all of this is all hand, hand carved. Everything is handmade in my shop. Um, I have to disclose here because uh, information because I'm using the uh, sometimes original design from, from uh, original uh, Victorian houses. For I example, this particular uh, fireplace mantle I choose for this house. Mm -hmm. But original design is from uh, 1860 something, you know. And I thought it's going to be excellent match for the cabinets, which I put together here. Wow. So um, we, we love this. I, we, we put the cases and I, we put the bricks to okay. make it look more, um, more, more authentic, authentic. But that's not really fireplace mantle, uh, not really fireplace. The, um, we, we're just going to use electrical. Um, yeah. To create an ambiance. To create in here. illusion. Yeah. To create illusion. We, we don't have a chimney, and the owner decided he's not gonna use it actually as a uh, as a really fireplace. Okay. So we're no, just gonna beautiful. put uh, a little bit of burned wood, and it's gonna look like fireplace. Yeah. The same thing. The glass is also designed by the same, same uh, people and uh, and the company. I just made those those details work here okay. for, and of course everything is handmade yeah, here. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. And then this is so. Is that a wallpaper that's going to go in there? Uh, we just put this for fun, but okay. basically, uh, the, uh, Ian and Axel will decide what kind of uh, wallpaper we will be here. Uh, this is just example of Victorian wallpaper, and does a Queen Victoria and her uh, colonies. Yeah, you know. I like that. It's a <laughs> really fun good. Touch. I, I want you to see the window trim uh, right uh -huh. now because when we go upstairs, you will see a little bit different. Uh, uh, so it's completely different, uh, much more, I would say, elaborate, okay. much more fancy than the other room upstairs. So um, we decided to use the, uh, uh, our rosettes, plim plug and fluted pilasters and added a little bit of header here for the windows. Yeah. So this will be partially uh, covered by draperies. Uh -huh. That will be also a decision of, uh, of Ian. Yeah. And, uh, but we're still gonna show a little bit of okay. uh, trim work here. And this is that same um, mahogany? This is the same high okay. figure mahogany yeah. on the panel. It's beautiful. You see the difference between, um, let me show you here, the difference between those two panels. Uh, in many uh, Victorian uh, design, we had those buttons. They were very popular. Uh -huh. And uh, Ian and uh, Axel and I, we were discussing if we're gonna use the same a design on the on the old panels or just the cabinets and we decided it might be too busy yeah so we decided to skip it keep it uh, uh, more, more simple I it's, like it it's still thank you so much it's it's still a nice panel but it might be too busy with all the paneling with those buttons um, maybe I can show you the laundry room right yeah. now thank you are in the laundry room you see the different doors uh, then not so uh, fancy like the uh, the other room this is uh, all Corazon Supili, and I want to show you the difference between Corazon Supili and the Crutch Mahogany here. So basically, this is much less expensive, that's why we use here uh, for, for the laundry room. But all the doors you will see upstairs, and all the paneling in the living and dining room, it's, it's fancy the new Crutch Mahogany. Okay. Uh, let's go see the stairs now, thank you. The cornice is... Um, a type of uh, decorative element which uh, uh, requires a lot of molding. Crown molding is just one piece of it. And you will see on my example how I put together for you to see it. Actually, that's how I plan cornice. Okay. You know, you basically put the moldings together in the shop and then it's easier to plan later installation. Uh -huh. uh, please. Uh, this is a crown molding. The crown molding can be like this or can be a little bit smaller or larger. Then you have the pieces behind which you normally don't see it, but you have to plan it ahead to make sure uh, this is full appearance of the molding. You just build like step by step, little pushing a little bit farther yeah. and farther to keep the uh, to achieve the depth of the corners. And, and that's, that's what the, gives it the layers. That's how you get those layers. Okay. And then many uh, carpenters they make a mistake. They just use the huge crown building like one piece crown. 
Um, I preferred to create the cornice. The cornice was very popular in Victorian times and mm -hmm. many, many other periods. So that's why uh, um, I, I, I'm choosing this to, for, for my educational channel to learn people and go back to this traditional way to making really nice looking uh, uh, cornice yeah, like it's this. It's stunning, it looks beautiful. Thank you. As you see here, we cannot fully finish the baseboard. It's not finished because the door is not installed. Until the bathroom is finished, okay. we cannot install the door. The tub is uh, large, so we have to wait. But you see the stairs here, mm -hmm. um, the all original design, uh, v Victorian design. And these were hand carved by you? This is handmade, okay. yes, wow. handmade. It almost feels like I'm in a museum or um, it's straight out of a magazine. It's oh, I, I take this as a compliment, but uh, by the way, Historic Society sent the letter to owner and they are very much interesting to make the movie about this house when wow. we will be finished. Okay. So uh, they are really uh, impressed about how original design is, how much really uh, the house. House originally was built in 1886, okay. so we're trying to match everything to the, not, I would not say previous glory because it was um, poorly remodeled before, uh -huh. but we added so much right now. And you see the stairs is not finished, the balusters and posts is not installed because of remodeling on the second floor. Stairs is so narrow, we have to keep it open uh, for general contractor to be able to go there. Gotcha. And uh, I just want to mention it, uh, this wood looks very similar to what we have on a panel, but because this is the staircase, we used African hardwood, it's called bubinga. It's very beautiful wood, but it's much, much uh, stronger than supili. Okay, beautiful. Let me show you the post right now. This post, which I built wow. uh, right here, and the second one will be on a landing on the halfway, uh -huh. uh, more than halfway to the second floor. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't design it. Uh, I just copy original design from uh, books from Victoria. Still, I mean, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. Please uh, go upstairs. I'm gonna show you what we've done upstairs. Just uh, go closer to the wall because we don't have a okay. ramp. Please take a look the landing here. Uh, we use the bobinga. That's what I, uh, it, it's a hard African wood and it's original ebony, like you have really, really um, a very dark black wood, very hard wood, and those uh, uh, small squares inside, that, that's the maple. Okay. Let's go upstairs, I wanna show you this door here. That's the second floor yeah. door, that's the, um, the most uh, beautiful um, part of the second floor design. Yeah. It, those uh, those uh, crotch mahogany panels uh -huh. on the door. The trim work, it's much simpler yeah. uh, uh, on the second floor than downstairs, but it's still matching the, the, uh, the style uh -huh. of Victorian. We just added handmade details here. When we made the rosette, we just added, you know, a little bit of carving to, to, uh, to make it like uh, East Lake style. Uh, which clients uh, prefer. Thank you so much. Let's go to another room. I will show you. It's not finished because it's still remodeling going on here. Let's take a look at the difference between the trimming on the windows here, uh -huh. uh, rosettes and uh, fluted pilasters and, uh, and the seal. It's much different, much simpler than yeah. downstairs, but still matches the, the yeah, period of the time. Beautiful. And uh, uh, one more thing, it's uh, like small closet here. So wh what I wanna show you here, of course you see it, we have blue tape because we still don't have a hardware, but basically that's the raised panel, uh, mahogany and uh, soft closing. We always use the Bloom, it's an Austrian company, so they, they produce the best soft closing hardware for, for you know, America and, and Europe everywhere. Mm -hmm. that, that's what we do here. That will be all. That's all for today. Yeah.